Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Lexi. Today I'm going to be showing you what we got our three boys for Christmas. So we have a seven-year-old boy named Oliver, a four-year-old named Henry, and a two-year-old named Sam. Um, I wanted to film this and try and get it out this week because I think a lot of the stuff that we got will be going on Black Friday sales. So I'm going to try to link it down below so you should be able to just click any link that you want um, to see where we got it. Um, I do want to disclaim this by saying that we are pretty minimal with the things that we give. We have three sets of grandparents because my parents are divorced, so they get a whole set of gifts from each set of grandparents, as well as some other people in our lives, like um, they have two uncles and things like that. So um, the boys get a huge amount of gifts, so we do put a lot of our... Christmas energy into, um, you know, like memories and traditions and things like that. But obviously, we still get them a few things. So I wanted to share with you what I got. Um, I also just want to say, if I sound a little congested and out of breath, it's because I am 20 weeks pregnant and also getting over a head cold. But I wanted to film this because I wanted to get it out before Black Friday for the sales and everything. So we are going to start with my seven-year-old, Oliver. Um, <laughs> all three of our boys are so different, so you will definitely see that, you know, shared in the gifts that they have gotten. Um, he is our very artsy and, like, STEM-minded child, so a lot of his gifts reflect that. And I'm also getting him um, three more books. So he's getting... We have so many books, so he's getting to the age where he's starting to branch into chapter books. He reads on more like a 9 to 10 year old reading level, so he needs some older books. So I will show on the screen um, in a bit which ones we end up getting. Um, but first I'll start with his stocking stuffers. So in addition to what's going in their stockings, I will be getting them some Christmas candies. Um, but I haven't gotten them yet because it's still over a month before Christmas. But to go with his chapter books, I got him these cute little magnetic Harry Potter bookmarks. Um, Harry Potter is like, I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd. So I was really excited when I saw these because he's sort of starting to get into that also. I also got him some erasable colored pencils. Um, I've never really seen the erasable ones like this, so I thought he would really enjoy that. Um, these I found on a really good sale, so my four-year-old's getting one also, but they are these Titan Hero superhero action figures, and we have a bunch of these already, but Ant-Man is Oliver's favorite superhero, so I thought he would enjoy this. And then lastly, I got him two of these smaller Lego sets that I thought would just be fun for him to put together quickly, so he got this, um, little monster truck one, and the smaller Harry Potter one. So I have, he's the only child of ours that has figured out the truth about Santa. So he already knows, um, but he sort of goes with the magic of it for our younger ones, which I think is really fun. But our thing with Santa has been, Santa has always brought one present and the rest come from mom and dad. So they know that they can, you know, put a couple things on their list for us to get or grandparents or things like that, but only one present comes from Santa, so they pick which one they want to ask for the most. So the thing that he chose to put on his Santa list this year is a Squishmallow. Um, our four-year-old has one that he sleeps with every night, but we aren't like, you know, the collectors, but he wasn't specific about which one he wanted, but he's obsessed with axolotls. So I found this. <laughs> And I thought he would be so excited about it. Um, it's like his favorite color and it's just so cute. So I got him that and that's going to be Oliver's gift from Santa. Um, the book that I have gotten him so far is called The Wild Robot. And this one just sounds right up his alley because he loves robots and the outdoors. So it kind of sounds like an outdoor adventure of this little robot that gets lost. So I'm hoping he loves that. And then... He asked for more Legos and some more like robotics things. Um, so we just got him this little Lego set. 
this three-in-one creator one. He likes these ones that he can build into different things. He is getting a few bigger sets from our family. And he also just had his birthday last month in October. And he got one really massive set that's like 1,200 pieces or something like that that he and my husband have been working together on. So I think by the time Christmas comes around, he'll be kind of big Lego set, set it out for a little bit. So the last thing he's getting, other than the books that I'll put up in a minute, are um, another set of these snap circuits. So he got a set of these last Christmas and he absolutely loves them. So they come with little books and each of the sets has like a different theme, um, but they come with a little book on how you can snap these little things together into these little circuit boards to make things happen. So the one he has like makes a fan spin, lights light up, a little siren goes off, but this one's like a house set. So he really wanted more of these. So he got that. And then we're going to move on to um, my four-year-old. So he has all little things here because the gift that he asked for from Santa is very big um, relative to what the other two are getting. Um, so that was like, it comes out to be about the same financially, like each kid got the same amount spent on them. Um, but his gift is this huge dinosaur track from Walmart. So I will pop that up on the screen right here. Um, and then that's really all he asked for. Um, so we sort of just went with it with the other things. So in his stocking, he's getting one of those action figures also, and he's getting Iron Man. Um, we don't have this one yet, but he will like that. And then he loves these little timers. Um, he goes to occupational therapy and they use these there a lot. And I think he has them in his classroom at school. So I got him one of those and pink is his favorite color. So that's in there. I got him some of this um, amazing putty. He loves Play-Doh and as you'll see, like all the sensory things like that. So he has, um, some putty at therapy also, but this one, it's supposed to be color changing. We'll see how that works, but he'll like the texture of it. And it's different from some of the other things he has. And then other than the candy he'll be getting, the last thing in there is this little like surprise ball, but it's monster truck themed. Um, so I guess he gets to like see which one it is and build it. So I think he'll really enjoy that. Um, the book he's getting is this little critter collection. So this has seven books inside of it. And I believe this was only like $8. And I know one of the sales that Target's running this week is buy two books, get one free. So this is a really good deal in itself. And then you can buy another book and get one free. So I'll definitely link this from Target down below. I know you can get it on Amazon as well. Um, but this is his book. And then other than the big track, the only two things he's getting are this, this has a fuzzy on it, little Hot Wheels set. He likes these trailer and like matching car ones, but I thought this was cool. It looks kind of like a boat. And a new bag of kinetic sand. Like I said, pink is his favorite color. He has some pink kinetic sand, but it has slowly eroded away to nearly nothing. So by the end of next month, he will be very ready for this. So that's all Henry's getting. I will show you what Sam is getting. So in his stocking, I'm going to, this looks huge, but it's just this little toolkit. He likes to work with my husband who works construction. He likes to try and be like daddy. So I'm going to take everything out, put it in the tool set and roll it up and like stuff it down in the stocking so that it'll fit. But this is what's included in it. And it's all plastic. So he won't be able to hurt anyone. And then I got him a pack of crayons. He's just now starting to get into his little artsy phase. Um, and then he'll also get some candy. And I got him this bluey aqua art book. So we have a lot of the water wow books. That he loves and they're so nice for taking in the car or to church and so if you don't know how these work they come with this little special uh, paintbrush that you fill up with water and then you can paint the picture 
and the colors show up and then when it dries it goes back to being white and you can do it again so he um loves bluey so i thought when i saw this one he would really enjoy that so that's all that's going in his stocking his book is this terrific dinosaur book so his theme is all dinosaurs because he is obsessed so um this is like a pop-up fact book um and i thought he would really like the interactiveness of this book um i grabbed him this Jurassic Park Jeep. He's not quite to, he's not into Jurassic Park itself yet, but he's going to see the dinosaur on this and absolutely love it. And it'll be something that's not directly a dinosaur. <laughs> so I got him that. Um, I got him these magnets. These are all little vehicles and things like that, that he can stick on the fridge because we don't have any kids fun magnets on there right now. And he likes to sit in the kitchen and play on the fridge while I'm cooking or doing dishes and things like that. And he keeps taking the magnets I actually need. <laughs> and so I got him these and actually my dad got him a dinosaur set too. So he'll be getting a lot of that fun stuff for Christmas. And the last thing he's getting is in this nice box which I'm gonna wrap it in just because it's easier to wrap. But he's getting a set of six more dinosaur figurines. We have a ton, but they literally go with us everywhere we go. Like he carries a dinosaur with him. There are some sitting behind the camera right now that I can see they, are, they go everywhere. But this set was about $22 for six of them, which is kind of expensive, but they are so, like, such great quality and really nice looking. So he is going to freak. And these are all ones that we we really don't have a lot of these, like, dinosaurs yet. So I made sure to pick a set that weren't going to be a ton of duplicate, um, like, kinds of dinosaurs. So I will link this down below. But it has, like, a water dinosaur, which he doesn't have, and a pteranodon, which he doesn't have. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's six of them in here and they are really nice quality for the price. I would definitely recommend them if your little one likes animal collectibles. But yeah, that is everything we got our three boys for Christmas. Like I said, it's pretty minimal, but I think they're going to love everything. And they basically have Christmas Eve, they get a full set of gifts. Christmas Day, they get two sets of gifts because my in-laws bring their gifts over that day. And, um, with Christmas being on a Sunday, we'll probably have Christmas with my dad Christmas Eve morning. So they'll get like four Christmases that weekend. So they will get plenty for Christmas. Um, but thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have gotten some inspiration for your little guys and that you can find some really great deals this week. Uh, please hit subscribe down below and I hope you have a great holiday season.